Hey everybody, welcome back and if you're new here, welcome and for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it and for those of you who are new, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that also. I'm going to do five nails and uh, for this design, it's kind of a random thing. I had a lot of fun. I am testing out some uh, gel paints from Saviland and I actually end up liking them very very much so if you're into the gel painting they're very smooth easy to work with they're not real stringy you don't have to fight with them and um, the colors are really opaque and and very beautiful uh, there's not a color in the bunch I didn't like and usually with those big sets um, 36 colors in case I forgot to mention that uh, there's some colors you just don't like or you may never use but I think I'm pretty much going to use all of them at some point <laughs> uh, a lot of seasonal uh, nails going out that I like to try and keep up with so I'm sure I'll be using them uh, so this like I said this was just a very I don't know I just had a I just wanted to do something so I figured I'd just make some shapes um, just so I could use these colors now I'm not using very many colors but look how easy these are to work with um, they even after stirring I mean I had a few bubbles because after stirring the the pot um, just to get all of it mixed up and ready for use there are some bubbles in the pot but they didn't really transfer onto my designs maybe just a couple little tiny ones but that was about it so that's pretty cool I don't know if that's a um, I mean it's normal I've had that happen you know the bubbles when you stir it it's it, but I think because this is a little bit thinner than most of these gel paints the bubbles kind of uh, went away quicker I guess and I am forwarding parts of this video just because of um, keeping the length down so I hope it's not too annoying or too fast but this design was simple but it did you know take me a little bit just mostly the drawing the lines when I get to the drawing the black parts uh, around the nail and around the colors you know kind of takes a little while I had a hard time choosing colors for this I if I mean I could have done 10 nails and I would have been able to uh, pick more colors out for you but I didn't want to do ten nails I just wanted to do five a little bit of cleanup work uh, as usual for um, trying to get things a little more perfect so I'm just going to draw another shape uh, triangle underneath this like I said it's, it's just no rhyme or reason to it I could literally paint with gel gel paints all day long. It's so therapeutic. Here I am. I have a different nail. I'm doing different nails for each uh, each of the steps. I might have the same nail in a couple of the steps, but 
try to make it a little bit different. I'm just drawing on the outside. Now the numbers underneath the tip, I thought I covered them better than what I did and I actually should have cut and filed the nail. Uh, when you're doing a clear, that's kind of a an important thing to not forget because <laughs> it looks kind of silly if you can see the numbers but I did not pay attention to that part of this so sorry about that it kind of yeah, gets a little camouflaged when I put the glitter on so it doesn't really show that much but right now while I'm doing this voiceover and I'm watching this video it bothers me that it's there I did the outlines on all of the nails and so this one here I just decided to um, make a solid shape and now I'm going to continue on with making the outline around the green part. As I'm drawing these lines I try not to get it on the clear. I'm trying to keep it on the colored part as much as possible. Uh, to make it more crisp and to not take too much of the clear space away. I really wanted the the clear part to show after I put the glitter on it. I just want it to be nice and crisp. There's all my lines drawn. It's pretty cute. The one in the middle, um, I didn't realize it, but it looks like an exclamation point. So I thought that was kind of a, I mean, as I'm drawing it, I didn't realize that that's what it was actually going to look like. So it's kind of strange, but that happens, I guess. So this little dappin dish uh, I'm using to put um, some top coat quite a bit. It's going to be for all the nails so I mean you can always make more. Um, just keep track of your ratio between the, the glitter and the top coat and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, and then I add my favorite fine sugar glitter and I was thinking about sugaring the nail in the parts that I want to put the glitter but I kind of didn't want them to be that coated. I wanted to brush them on and have them be a little more translucent. So I'm doing it this way and this is actually pretty easy. You can just take your any brush, I'm going to use a detailer brush and then put it exactly where you want it. Sugaring is just as easy. You can just put the clear where you want it and then dump that glitter right on there. So, but it makes it a little more solid looking when you do that. Just getting the excess off my little stirrer. And make sure when you do mix the glitter in the top coat like that, give it a little stir now and then when you go to um, dip your brush back in, kind of swirl it around just because the glitter is going to settle at the bottom. You want to make sure you get all of that on there. And I'm making sure that I go over the black with this glitter because it changes the color and it makes it look real more green, like a green outline. It's kind of cool looking over the black. I love how that looks. So I have these different colors of mylar and now I have a blue nail and I was going to do a clear nail in the green mylar. So up at the top there's the green and then down below the, 
also green, is more of a tealish kind of color uh, to match the the green that I have on the the nail. So you'll see later that I switched that bright green out for the blue because I had forgotten to set it out and decided not to use the green. Um, I'm just going to use the teal. So you see the glitter is done and it's super cute and it, it does kind of hide the numbers that I left on the nail tip so that was nice. <laughs> and I'm very carefully picking the pieces that I'm using for the mylar. I want them to be certain shapes and I want them to lay very flat. If I was going to encapsulate this with a thicker product like a, a poly gel or an acrylic, I wouldn't care how if they were flat or not. I would just kind of throw them on here, but in this case I'm going to be using the uh, builder gel. So. I wanted them a little more flat because I didn't want to add a bunch of bulk. I'm just going to do this nail here and continue with the rest of them off camera and bring you back to the next step of this cute design. <laughs> So there they are, so far all glittered and mylard. And this one here, I just left it clear. No real design on it, just an outline of black and some glitter and some mylar. I thought this was a very, very pretty springtime design, um, just for casual wear. So this is the Bio Builder Gel from Mia Secret, and it's um, Builder in a Bottle, uh, and it's different. Um, so I really actually ended up liking it. So you put the first layer on you just brush it on like it's a polish and that helps when you go to build the nail and add that add more gel it helps it slide to the place that you want it so you can just float it across back and forth and it just having that um, uncured first coat of it helps it move around a lot more and this way it just kind of flows into the rest of it. And this is actually very easy. This is my first time trying a builder gel. I've never used one before. And I've heard a lot of good things about the Mia Secret. So, and I like their products, their other products. So I thought I'd try it. So then you just kind of make sure you've got it covering the, the sides of the nail on both sides, just floating that brush along, fix any spots that you might have missed and it's that easy. Look at that. Okay, so it does have an inhibition layer of course. Um, so I wipe that off and that's just alcohol. I use alcohol. Um, you can use gel wipe off solution of course but alcohol is just as good so that's I just stick to that. Make sure you get all of that off. So I'm going to be filing. So definitely make sure before you file to get all of that stickiness off. You'll ruin your files really fast. And scratch the edges. Make sure they're all even. That glitter gets you know a little bit rough around the edges so you need to smooth that out. And because the mylar is not sticking out too much, I really didn't have to do much filing. I just kind of gave it a once over 
didn't push down too hard. It's gel, so it's really easy. Once I'm finished with this step, it'll be time for the top coat. Nice even strokes. Make sure you don't have any fuzzies in it. There's the finished, the finished look. I love them. They were so much fun to make. And I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me do this design. Very easy, very fun. And please like, subscribe, and share. And continue to come back and watch my future videos.